Hey, Yacha Value here, finally back with another vlog. Um, every time I do one of these, I always tell myself, man, I'm going to start doing these once a week, no matter what. I'll find something to talk about, this and that, and I end up not doing anything. Same thing with recording gameplays and doing reviews. It's like I always have these, like, grand plans for things, and I end up getting distracted, I guess. Like... Right before preseason started, or during preseason, I was like, man, I'm going to take it kind of easy. I'm going to do mostly reviews. I'm not even going to play that much. I'm going to do mostly reviews, play every once in a while, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, four weeks later, and uh, plat one, finally, thank goodness. Plat one, I've done reviews. I've done nothing except play flex and ranked. I mean, that's my own. That's my bad. That's going to keep me from getting better, unfortunately. Although, I've been playing flex a lot with my one buddy who's uh, gold in solo queue. But when we play together in flex, we end up playing against, I'm not joking, like mid to high diamonds. That's not, you know, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I mean, because I'm definitely not that high as far as mid laning goes. But when he plays by himself, he plays against golds. When I play by myself, I get to play against platinum. But we're in, if we're in flex together, we're playing against diamonds, which is pretty cool. It ends up working really well for both of us because he gets... Obviously, he gets stomped or whatever, but he gets to play against people he won't know me to play against. And same thing with me. Like, I'm going to get stomped by any Diamond 2 mid laner, but I'm not playing against Diamond 2 mid laners when I'm playing solo queue. So, I feel like this is helping me get better faster. Although, I should still be doing game reviews and all that. But mostly, uh, like, I hit, I hit Plat 1 with 80 LP my, during my last hot streak. Unfortunately, I'm down to maybe 15 LP at the moment. I've had a couple bad games. A couple really bad games and a couple just whack ones. Like, I mean, it's not, not representative, of, representative of all how the games have gone, but I've had, like, two straight out. Like, I only know so many. I only know it's exactly... Well, I only know it's like this because, you know, when there's less games, you pay attention to more. Anyway, more DCs I've had than... Like almost any other time that I've been playing, except when I was maybe in bronze. But Morty sees, and then just straight up terrible games. Anyway, the so plat one, I was thinking of going for diamond, you know? But I feel like at the, at the start of the new season, you're going to have to do placements, and the highest you can get is plat one, you know? So if I am definitely, definitively. A plat one player i'm hoping i can uh start in plat one next season and then, i mean so ending in diamond five or ending in plat one there's in a whole lot of difference since i'll probably have to start from plat one again anyway but i'm trying to solidify my position as a plat one player but what else uh i said i was going to try to play other champions that hasn't happened although i've been learning nar and sejani top that's very important because last season I played only Psy on top and I think I ended the season with like a 40% win rate which is kind of terrible uh, basically if I was playing top then it was most likely a loss and I felt really stupid because it's like I would have learned if I would have played Gnar as much as if I played Scion I think I would have done better I mean who knows you know I'm still a terrible top laner so it doesn't really better doesn't really mean I'd win more it just means like I probably just feel better but I've been playing a lot of Nar, and I've been playing a lot of Sejuani, which I think is secret OP, especially top. No, excuse me, especially top lane. Like we know she's pretty strong in the jungle between her passives and like her clear and everything. She's pretty strong. The top lane, if you can survive the lane, and even if you don't, you come out and you're still doing a ton of damage between your uh, what is it, her E, and then after after they're frozen, she chunks somebody for like twenty percent of their health or something. Is really strong so even if you're behind you're still doing a pretty big hit of damage and it's magic so uh, if people aren't prepared you'll still you can be 0 and 5 and you can still like really hurt a squishy and then with your ultimate and other CC you're you're useful all game I feel you know because your passive still is doing work and you know your your R is still great and your E is still great so Johnny Top is OP. You heard it here first. Um, 
mid lane, still playing a lot of Anivia. You know, I sort of decided that playing Anivia, learning to play Anivia into Diamond will probably be faster than learning, like, say, Twisted Fate or Orianna. You know, because in order to get my Twisted Fate or Orianna to the level my Anivia is at, it's going to be a huge time sink, which is doable, especially since I'm playing, like, Flex more. Like, I can devote some time to it, but uh, I think, like, if my goal is to climb, then I'll have an easier climb with Anivia. If my goal is to get better, then I should just take, I should take the losses and learn other champions. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that, but I know that much, you know? Because, like, like, I have alt accounts, not necessarily smurfs, because I don't really, like, I mean, what am I, like, a plat player smurfing in gold is not really, I mean, is that really smurfing, you know? But I feel like I take one of these accounts and just devote it to just one champion, you know? Because if I'm in, I think in one of my accounts I am in gold, or high gold or mid gold. So I can, say, take Twisted Fate and be like, I'm only playing, I'm only playing Twisted Fate on this account. And I'm only going to switch to my main once I have, like, once I'm, like, plat 3 with Twisted Fate. Then I know I'll be starting, it's like... Like, I'm... My Twist of Fate is probably gold level. You know, my Orion is probably gold level. My Cassidy is probably gold level. So if I... Even though I'm high plat, if I'm playing these champions, I belong at that rank, you know? So I can take these champions and bring them up and bring myself up and get better overall. And then I have more picks instead of just Anivia, which I play into everything no matter what. And I think I said this in another vlog, right? Where... Even if, like, just giving yourself options puts you in a better position to win. So you don't need a super deep champ pool, but you need probably at least three. And I'm sort of ignoring that, and I'm sort of not listening to myself, and I'll probably regret it if I do this upcoming season the way I did last season. Because I do regret not playing enough and not playing enough champions. And, like, I want to keep telling myself, learn another champions, learn another champions, learn another champions. But... Then your situation where like, do I want to do this to my teammates? You know, do I want to play Twisted Fate when my Anivia is just better? You know, and it's like one thing, like this is kind of just random now. But one thing when I decided, well, not when I decided to play. Well, you know, as you're playing League of Legends, you're exposed to all kinds of teammates. You know, some of are straight up, some are awesome, some are just straight up jerk, and some are just forgettable. But I always, and you know, plus it's the internet, so, so much anonymity, and, you know, you don't know anyone, you never see anyone, you don't really, you play one game and it might as well be, like, AI, because, like, you don't think about their feelings, you don't think about anything, and they don't think about yours, so it's like, what do I care about my teammates? But, like, I started to, like, picture the game as if, like, this is like a pickup game at the neighborhood court, you know? And it's like, eventually... Like, it, I mean, it's it's really hard for it to happen unless you're really high, but eventually you start recognizing people and you start knowing, they start knowing how good you are and you start knowing how good they are. That sort of thing, you know, like in a neighborhood playground. And it's like, I try to, just like in a play, playground, I try to, I want to be the teammate that you're always glad is on your team, you know? Like if you if you play a lot of basketball, then you know there's some people you'd rather play with. Maybe it's skill or maybe it's just because they're like cooler people, you know? And that's what I want to be in League of Legends. You know, I want to be someone you can count on on your team. Maybe I won't always carry, but you know I'm capable. You know I'm at least a little consistent or mostly consistent. So you want me on your team. So when I think of stuff like that, it's like I'm, I don't want to expose my teammates to my poor play when I'm playing another champion, especially in ranks. And everyone hates that. So it's like, all right, I'm going to do my part and play Anivia. And that's that, you know. So, I think in a little bit I have to definitely go on another account and learn another champion. Because learn like <laughs> even normals I'm scared to lose because I don't want to lose my MMR. So like normals don't matter. Well, so why am I like this in my head? Or even flex because flex well flex is a little harder because I don't want to ruin my <clears throat> my friend's uh, MMR. So it's like I have to play on another account. So, uh, 
Anyway, but the preseason's over in like two weeks. And I'm trying to think if I even have time to... Like, I'm already in Plat, so it's like, if I can devote a whole weekend to it. I feel like I've been saying this all season, or in every vlog, you know? If I just had the time, if I just had the time. And some of it is like that, you know? Mechanic, mechanically, you're... It's hard to get better mechanically, I feel. Like, your reactions and your instincts, I guess, sometimes are what they are, unfortunately, you know? As you get older, they get slower. If you come from different kinds of games, then you're not as quick, that sort of thing. But you can always get better. You can always play smarter. You can always, like, do something differently. And I think that's where I am. Like, I watch a lot of Anivia montages, and outside the occasional, like, pin with the wall, I can't, I don't really do much. So it's like, I just have to play well. But at the same time, like, I want to carry, and I want to, like, I want to do something. I want to be part of the, part of the win, you know, not just this or that. Like, every once in a while, I'll have, like, a great game where I'm no, no lie, like, 11-0 and 0 or 7-1, and 1 and, like, dang, I'm so, so happy I can play like this. And then the game, the game or two after that, and I'm going, like, negative six, you know, I'll pick up a kill here and there, but, like, what, like, like, I know I'm getting better, and I for sure have gotten so much better than when I first started this, you know? Like, I have videos of me playing Anivia from, like, last march or april or something and it's like man i was so garbage back then and that was still like high gold which i mean it's whatever it's not so high but it's like even the jump from like plat 5 to plat 1 requires so much like growth you know skill growth and and other what and other things but it's like man like i'm really getting better but then but when you're that, that don't, you only see that when you like look at it Look at the big picture, you know? Because, like, game to game, it feels like I'm not that great. But I'm glad I recorded something. I'm glad I, like, uploaded some things because I'm happy that I can go back and look at just how much better I've gotten since starting all this, you know? So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I really, 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 really want to do more vlogs. You know, one other thing I also haven't done this month in particular is that I've been streaming more on Twitch. Like I actually just got my affiliate, uh, the affiliate thing approved. So I'm an affiliate now. And that's so that's taken me maybe like a month or two. No, like a month and change to get. So all the time that I should have been recording and doing reviews and all that, I've really just been uh, streaming on Twitch. So I mean, it's mostly worth it because I'm affiliate now, but. Like, in order to get viewers on Twitch, I have to play, like, games besides League of Legends. And I like other games besides League of Legends. I like a lot of them. Different kinds of games, obviously. But <clears throat> League is, like, my competitive outlet, you know? So was, I want to devote so much time to just getting better at League. But then I'm uh, ignoring the Twitch part. And so it's kind of kind of tough to... Kind of tough to um to juggle. Unless I can get people interested in watching me get better or but no one wants to watch like a hard stuck plat player you know but maybe i don't know like i don't know maybe maybe you know if you want to support me go to twitch.tv slash chevelio uh follow me and come hang out when i'm streaming uh follow me on twitter at ichevelio follow me on instagram on chevelio follow me on snapchat ichevelio uh obviously youtube chevelio so uh I'll try, try, try to upload more. I'm not, not, not you know, I'm, I'm saying this if I'm talking to somebody, but no, I'm telling this to myself. Record more, review more, play more, and then and just get better. You know, that's me to me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. GG's. Uh, see you on the next one. Peace.